Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play War Hospital. I would say we're doing quite well. We've got four days to go to survive this chapter. We've got three more attacks coming. Someone just leveled up. Not lazy anymore. There we go. Excellent. Um, yeah. Uh, we're okay on supplies because we've ordered more. Patient Ainsley of Ride died after being denied admission. Oh. Impractical. Works much slower. Let's get rid of Impractical. Excellent. Look at that. Only 62 lost and 332 saved. I mean, not only, but you know, it's better. So I keep putting patient, uh, putting soldiers uh, back to the trenches because, well, now we are very well prepared for all the attacks. And I'm guessing they're going to get even worse. So... At some point, I'm guessing if you wait until the next attack to start building up defenses, uh, you don't get enough time to actually send enough soldiers there. So I'm just going to keep sending them to the trenches and try to, uh, you know, avoid... Let's get you over there. Try to push you up in the queue. Okay, that's good. Critical. Let's operate right away. Yeah, operate immediately. There's the surgeon coming. It seems the patient's will is strong. There's more patients coming. We've got someone in good condition. He can be here. And a chemical ward patient. Eight hours. Okay. Seven hours. Four hours. Look at that. It's a lot faster operation there. So, letter from home. Let's, uh... Yeah, sure, morale rises, even though we don't need it right now. Look at... Yeah, look at those attacks. We will need more soldiers. Fortunately, the bullet stopped in the bone. That's gonna be a lot of wounded. Jeez. Because now, we are a thorn in the German side. Oh. Never mind, because the uh, the border or the front is not on the map anymore. <laughs> Again, nurses are getting tired, as per usual. Uh, there's no one there anymore, so I'll just have these guys rest. Extremely exhausted. That's so annoying. Okay, more patients in surgery. Pre preliminary analysis indicate that the patient's mental state is stable and could recover if given enough time away from combat with no need for any additional medicine. Okay, give him the piece he needs. HQ has decided to mount a great push. Of course, and we've sent them the soldiers they needed. Our diagnosis was very accurate. Let's uh, decrease the used resources. Excellent. How's the burial process? Okay, there's still seven people to be buried. The patient shows signs of high spirits. You know what? I'm going to send some more. You're already exhausted. Um. Wait, what am I doing? Yeah, keep it like that. You're, you're going to rest. Um, what did I want to do? Send someone else to the cemetery so they hurry up with that. With the burials. I think they have to actually fetch the bodies first. The diagnosis was wrong, so it's a shorter operation. Excellent. Finished rehabilita rehabilitation and is fully recovered. John Callaghan. Oh, that's the uh, VIP, isn't it? Look at that. A lot more. And a lot more three Chevron guys as well. Yeah, look at those attacks. Just attacks after attacks after attacks. We've got 48 drafts. I mean, at this point, we've got five staff points. There's nothing really much we else we can do apart from get more scouts, I suppose. Yeah, why not? Let's let's get another scout team. And now let's see if we can do it here. Not yet. 
Because we'll need a lot more points for the scout team. It appears the patient's leg is infected. Let's administer stronger medicine and save his leg. How's my patients here? Okay. Rested, tired, rested. Exhausted. Okay. Mm. Idealist, composed, and aesthetic. Uh, instead of aesthetic, we could do dependable when working solo. That's not really a thing anymore. Works more efficiently. No, that's pretty good. Let's do nothing. So now things are a lot quieter. No disease, no wounded in the trenches. That's good. So the operation was surprisingly easy. Excellent. There's a medic teams. Whoa, combative. Others working with them perform slightly worse. Sarcastic and playful. Jeez. Let's get rid of uh, combative first. So now all of these doctors are resting. But these ones are still working. Put you here. He's well rested. Okay. There's going to be another train coming with more uh, wounded, probably. Of course, right in, right before the uh, attack. There's a train. And... Oh, and send more soldiers. They're not moving, so I guess there's no wounded here. But there's the scouts. So let's add more scouts. There we go. So there was already two, I guess. And let's add a dog. Excellent. So now we'll be able to send this scout team there. Engineers are getting tired. Well, they will be changing shifts soon. So let's just leave them for now. All these three patients are about to be done. Excellent. Look at that. Good. And of course, now an ambulance arrives. Figures. After a thorough examination, I believe the patient's symptoms to be fake. Okay, shorter rehabilitation then. Extremely exhausted. Just half an hour more. Half an hour more, you'll be good. You'll be fine. Nurses, tired again, but shift is about to stop. I mean, uh, to end. Uh, why is that one still waiting there? Oh, someone else is gonna fetch them. Okay, let's see. We've got one in the surgery here. He can uh, rest. We also arrived in serious condition. Well, let's help the poor boy. And another attack is coming, though. There we go. That Those medics can uh, leave and rest. But I don't think they'll have the time because I'll be sending them to the trenches very, very soon. Patient shows signs of high spirit. Surprisingly easy operation. Yeah, see, these medics are just about to arrive at the lodging, and then... They pretty much... Oh, yes. Did you see that? Thought of examination of leave the patient symptoms to be fake. Look at that. There's a red combat up, up there, despite the fact that I was sending so many soldiers. So it is indeed a good idea that I'm doing this. Oh, now it's instantly blue. Uh, well, no idea. Look at all the chevron power we have. Oof. Very good. Okay. Time to send them to the advanced dressing station. No preference. No preference. Not to work in the cemetery. Alright. Let's go. Another big push. And then another one. And another one. And another one. And another one. Jeez. It's really going to be a bloodbath. No! Loman Bilky died during operation. Damn it. Cursed Germans! They're dropping gas! Great. Well, we do have gas supplies. Or chemical supplies.
Sir, report from the last battle. Report? We lost ground both to the east and the west. The eastern riverbank, areas around Rock Dead Canvas Lake, and Domaine de Dorian are now in enemy hands. Hold on, hold on. Uh, scout teams. Okay. Wait, I. What? But I've already done that. I've didn't I click order? I guess I didn't. Forces are spread too thin. Without reinforcements, there is just too much ground to cover. <clears throat> this is dangerous. One successful enemy pusher will be cut off. Any orders for hospital to withdraw? No, sir. We were given a firm response to hold our ground. Well, of course. If our forces are stretched thin, the German ones are even more. They should not be able to afford more than one or two more attacks. Yeah. German's only hope is to break through us and then shorten the line. Cutting us off is not going to accomplish that. There's little danger of being cut off, Major. Even if it is true, that only puts a bigger target on us and the 36th Lieutenant Colonel. Yeah, I'm not too... Whoa. Ten supplies. Jeez. Nine supplies. That's... Ouch. Stable. Four hours. We're gonna get more. Okay, we're waiting for the scouts. Combative. Let's get rid of combative. Let's see. Schedule. Uh, okay, so this one is just personnel, Elizabeth. So they're st still in progress. Come on. 41 wounded. Jeez. Seems the bullet passed through the patient's body. Bullet stopped in the bone. Recent events have made less impact. There's no more space for freight in the warehouse. Yeah, I'd say so. My scouts are still being ordered. That's great. Patient's will is strong. And the body appears to have a high tolerance. Let's decrease the cost because we're going to need it. And there's more patients arriving by train, because, you know, that's exactly what I need. Uh, stable condition. Stable. I hope I have enough strength left to operate. Oops, there's another chemical ward patient. The patient shows signs of high spirit. Well, we're full on morale. That's something. There's... There's an idling truck here somewhere all the time. Like here, but... I don't know where it's stuck or if it's stuck at all, if it's just sound. The operation was surprisingly easy. Still order in progress. Oof, lots of chemical patients. Seven hours. He's well rested now, so he can operate as well. Critical condition. Okay. Operate immediately. Seven supplies. Nine supplies. I'm going to try and save these guys right now um, and just order more supplies because look we've got 69 uh, 69 drafts so we should be okay I think let's see the patients I mean the recovery Lots of chevrons. Lots and lots and lots of chevrons. We're still sending soldiers to HQ. The patient's throat was badly damaged by the chemical agent. I fear his pharynx may suffer permanent damage. I would like to request administering an additional dosage of alkaline solution. Let's do it. 
So the patient shows signs of high spirit and a nurse leveled up. Absent minded. Works slightly worse at CCS, tire slightly less. So that's actually good because she's in the surgery uh, surgery ward. Extroverted. Um friendly. Others working with them perform slightly better. Others working with them tire less. Let's do that. Because she works less efficiently. It appears that the assisting nurse made a mistake. Uh, let's use a normal detox procedure. It appears the gas poisoning in the patient's body was not as severe as predicted. Was the... Okay. Deceased, buried, waiting for burial. The damage to the patient's body is extensive but superficial. Okay, how's my scouts? Are we still waiting? No. Okay, so now we can send the other team here. Uh, awaiting orders. Wait, both are awaiting orders? What? Village Dilemma. Let's go and... Let's go to the fire. Nice. Both teams. Wait, we've got nine points. Holy moly. Uh, okay then. Uh, let's... Let's get more. Scouts, I guess, even though I don't suppose we really need them. Operation was surprisingly easy. Look at them all. I think the shift is just... No, it hasn't. Where are they? What? These are not engineers. These are soldiers. Oh, because we've gotten them from that mission... Um, yeah, we've gotten 10 soldiers and a lot of civilians. It appears the toxin did not have time to spread. Let's see. Oof. A lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. Jeez, there's a lot of them. Can you operate on more? No. Okay, exhausted. What about here? Nope. And four for the chemical ward. Serious condition. We'll operate immediately after he's rested. There. That's a lot of patience in the wards. Let's see how uh, our people are doing. Nurses close to collapsing. Just go and rest. These are these two are always the problem. She might actually collapse. We'll see. There she goes. It appears the, uh, there is a tiddly shrapnel in the patient's abdomen. Let's use an electromagnet. There we go. She's resting now. Ooh, minus seven supply is very nice. And normal recovery. More patients coming in. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. That is a lot. Well, we can get another doctor. But we also need a lot more supplies. Where's my resources coming? There we go. In 20 minutes. You know what? I'm going to actually order another doctor here. Another surgeon. Just have a full house. But he's not going to arrive now, I don't think, right? No, he's going to arrive at the next train. It seems the bullet flew right through, and the patient body appears to have a high tolerance for gas poisoning. Let's re uh, decrease the dosage. The patient has uh, suffered severe phosgene poisoning. I fear a large portion of the chemical agent may have already reached his heart. The chances of patient survival are drastically low. That's crazy. Let's uh, use a quick detox procedure. Try to save him. Okay, so uh, we got a lot of stuff with that train. 
And I think we'll need more. Because we're using quite a bit. Let's uh let's order some more supplies here. Like so. And check out our rehabilitation center. Very nice. So basically, in my hospital, if you don't want to fight anymore, well, even though I guess the HQ can still send you to fight, if you don't want to fight in the trenches here anymore, you just must not be good at combat. <laughs> or you must be wounded enough not to go. There's still 31 in the trenches? Seriously? Oh yeah, I've gotten the scouts. Let's, uh... Let's order more scouts then. There we go. They're getting tired, but the shift is about to end. Severe burns. What do we got? The patient body was able to fight off the infection. Let's increase the cost. Okay, we're getting that extra surgeon now in an hour and a half. Let's also check the patient's critical. We need to operate immediately. In good condition. 1 for the chemical ward. The patient immune system is not reacting well. Increased cost? No, 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 for normal procedure. I don't think we can really afford that easily. So many attacks coming. The operation was surprisingly easy. Patient Thomas Herbert died during operation. Damn it. All burns caused were superficial. There's another attack. Seems the patient body was able to fight off the infection. How are you already tired? You've just come back. I guess it's because I am shuffling them. And then they don't have time to rest. See, it said zero there to decide, and there is a patient. That's not very nice. Okay, um... There's still order in progress. They won't have time to really clean up. It's crazy. City hands practice and ambitious. I liked all of this. Do nothing. Uh, so let me check the medic teams. These guys are still not tired. They seem to tire a lot less in the advanced dressing station, I think. A bullet stopped in the bone. Signs of high spirits. Surprisingly easy. Well, our morale is pretty darn high all the time. I think we got another surgeon now. Yes, we do. Excellent. Serious condition. Wait, he's rested. Good condition. And good condition. There. Doctor is starting a new shift. The bullet flew right through. Yeah, it seems like uh, these medics at the trenches are just not going to get a rest. Uh, not going to get rest now. No, 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 please. Just don't get the truck stuck again. Surprisingly easy operation. I think these guys are just swamped right now. See, it lies to me. It says zero, and there is someone there. Very annoying. Yeah, because they have to keep getting patients. Come on, get the ambulances. Please get the ambulance, thank you. No? <sighs> the patient experienced internal bleeding in the abdomen. We were able to stabilize him, but his condition is critical. Use a medical drip. Come on, get the, the... Oh, God. The patient shows signs of high spirit. Can you please 
get them now. I know you're bringing more patients to the operating ward. Oh, the monastery is filled with refugees. It seems the friar has taken all who ask for shelter. The conversation with Friar Tuck was not easy. The friars don't want to leave the monastery, which had been their home for many years. They are not prepared to leave the refugees either. Friar Tuck is adamant that even if the friars were to leave, they would take the refugees with them as they feel obliged to protect them. Besides, they are not equipped to evacuate and do not have any rations to survive the journey. The scout commander knows that many of the refugees were probably too weak or too old to make the journey. And that's why they have stayed at the monastery. Take the friars and the, uh, and the refugees. Supply the friars and refugees with rations. And force them to evacuate. Or leave Friar Tuck to his stubbornness, taking the last delivery. Um, now let's take them all to the hospital. The refugees and friars are surprised at first, but agree to the scout's offer. When the group departs, some of them approach the commander. They want to repay the scout's kindness and offer them what remains of their possessions. It looks like all gifts combined may actually be helpful for the hospital. Whoa, that's a lot of freight which we don't need. And 20 freight to the scout team in the hospital. Um, yeah. Well, actually, huh. Well, when they arrive, I guess. So how's my scout teams? Okay, they are ready. So we can now send them here. Awaiting orders. That's a hell of a lot of attacks coming. The bullet stopped in the bone. Diagnosis is very accurate. Let's save supplies. And... Whew. That's a lot going to HQ. Whoa. And more to the trenches. More to the trenches. More to HQ. More to HQ. More to the trenches. More to HQ. Now let's check it out. 27, 28, 30. Almost 400 people saved now. Okay, operating. Good, good, good. What's going on here? Oh. It seems the patient's body was able to fight off the infection on its own. Wait a second, I think a nurse has collapsed. Ah, damn it. Just go and rest. Frickin' hell. Okay. Unexpectedly clean wound. No one waiting for burial at the moment. One in the trenches, 19 wounded. And there's gonna be plenty of attacks. Ah, something's in my eye. Reaching the village, the scout team finds only empty streets and abandoned houses. The villagers must have been evacuated in a hurry, as most of the houses were left open, and there were multiple packages left just outside of the houses. It is doubtful that they will find any living soul here. Let's search the houses, but there might be booby traps. Oh. The search, besides supplies, yielded tracks leading from the houses to the fields outside the village. They look relatively fresh and were probably made after the area was evacuated. Someone had searched these houses, probably looking for supplies. The scouts wanted to follow the tracks, but they quickly vanished in the fields. Still salvaged a lot of food, alcohol, whoa. A lot. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, everyone. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I do playing it. A huge thank you to my patrons, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.